Check it out, guys. The Ameta Morpho mini camera drone that shoots 1080p video. Now, we're going to be taking a look at this today, but I do want to thank these uh, great people at uh, Ameta for uh, sending this out for us to check out, right? So, all the goodness is right inside this box. And let me tell you what, this thing lights up really cool. I'm going to go take it and put it in the garage and turn all the lights out. And you're going to be able to see what it looks like in the complete darkness. It actually looks pretty cool. So let's get it out of the box and check it out. All right, guys. So inside the box, you get all of this goodness. You get the drone itself, which is very cool. And they do give you some extra props. They give you four uh, spare props in here and a prop removal tool, but I actually don't think you'll ever need them because it has some really nice little prop guards on here that uh going to prevent you from breaking any of the props. So just in case any one of them fall off, you can press on a new one. They give you a manual. They give you two 850 milliamp hour batteries, which is nice. So that's going to get you, what, like 17, 18 minutes flight time. You get your controller. And that takes three AAA batteries, screwdriver, charging cord, the phone holder, and you get your little travel bag, which I probably, I'm going to probably use it for something else. <laughs> I'll keep some junk in it or something. That's what people usually do with these things. But anyway, whatever. Right, okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to put the battery in and we're going to fire it up for you and let you see how it works, so... There's the bat. Oh, and by the way, there's how you charge the batteries with the USB cord right there. So you just take the battery and you just put it in here like this. Right there like that. Then the on and off button is underneath. You just hold that. And you're going to see it fire up like that. Wow, pretty cool. Here's the power button. So that's going to bind up. Now what I noticed about this thing, it doesn't have a level calibration on the sticks. So you have to start it up. It does it automatically. You have to start it up on a level surface or it'll mess it all up. So just make sure it's level when you turn on the controller. Okay. Sorry about that. You have to go to the Wi-Fi settings first. And click that and then connect the Wi-Fi. And then when that connects up, you go to the app. Oh, there it is, a metamorpho. Right there. It says, okay, it's saying I connected. Then I hit start, and there it is. It's showing the camera right there. Let's see. Yay. Which way is the camera? Oh, it's that way. Okay. There you go. Hey, there, look at that bald head. See that? Okay, so there it is. So now you know it's working. When you see that shiny object from outer space, there you go. You see that working. So I'm not going to do any recording of any video or anything like that in here, but I am going to take it off in here just to show you that, it, you know, just to show you it, give you an example of it just flying around. So anyway, here's the light button right here. See that? I actually think that's pretty cool. <laughs> it also has a little stunt button on here. We'll do some flips and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that in the house. I'm going to save that for when we get outside. So, yeah. So then to start it up, all you would do would be to turn the sticks in or out. Either way. And then to turn off the motors, you just pull down on the stick. So let's just let's just flip the camera up here and let's take off. Now you know I notice a lot of times when I do this, I always wind up getting a crash. But <laughs> but we're we're gonna try it out, okay? We're gonna take off here. Now there's a takeoff button, or you can just lift, lift up on the stick. There's a speed button too on there. There's a rate button. So, but there it is. Yeah, pretty cool. But you know what? I got a much better idea. 
let's go outside and fly this thing. All right, guys, we are out here with the uh, Metamorpho. And what we're going to do is we are going to just fly it first without using the app or shooting the video. Okay, so we're just going to fly it around just to see how it, you know, just to see how it flies. That's, I always stress this when I make these videos, right? How does it fly? This is the most important thing. Does it fly good? So we're going to find out, right? So we're going to fly it without any possibility of any interference from Wi-Fi signals or any of this other you know, any of this other stuff. So let's just do that first. And then after we fly it around for a couple of minutes with the, uh, just flying it around, then we will, okay, so that's binding up. Then we will come back, turn the app on and shoot some video and let you see that. Usually I'll put the video either, I'll sync it in with the flight or I'll put it at the end so you can see the uh, what the full screen version would look like. Uh, it does shoot 1080p video, so let's let's do that. Let's take off, right? Let's take off. Let's turn the rate up. There's two rates. Okay, so it's spinning around here pretty good. Yeah, I'm digging it. Wow, yeah, flies great so far. Wow, good stuff. Okay, so let's go and try uh, let's see, one of these little function things here. Okay, so it looks like it does that for X amount of seconds. It did that, what, spinning around there. Now let's... Okay, so there's the flips. So it does them. You have to actuate the flips by hitting the button and then doing the, doing the stick movement. So that'll actuate the flip for you. So that stuff works. And I'm gonna take it, I mean, we're outside in the sunlight, right? So the light show isn't gonna really do much, right? So what I'll do is I'll take it over into that big garage I have, turn all the lights off, and then we'll uh, fly it around in there for a minute so you can see what it would be like in the dark. If you were gonna fly it outside in the dark, you would be able to see what it would be like. So yeah good stuff so you see that it's pretty stable I'm not holding on to the controller at all uh, and it's it's not drifting around at all so it's extremely stable so which is a good thing for beginners right so you you want that so what I'm gonna do is that little nighttime video the thing in the dark where so you can see the light show I'm going to put that at the absolute end of the video. So there'll be, you know, the unboxing and the setup and then this part and then the uh, flight with the video and then the, um, the nighttime thing. That'll be at the end. So yeah, it flies great, man. Okay, so let's bring it, let's bring it in. And... Let's bring it in and set up the uh, the video. 1080p camera, it's adjustable. I'm not gonna point it all the way down. I'm just gonna have it sticking straight out. You know, I don't want it pointing toward the ground, so. Okay, so I'm getting some. It seems to be pretty laggy, so we'll see. 
We'll see if it shoots the video or not. Okay, we're gonna take off. <sighs> Like I said, I'll put the video in there for you. But, uh, so we're shooting it. We're shooting it right now. There is a considerable amount of lag in the video. But that don't mean it's not shooting the video. It just means it's the, the transmission signal is just jumping around a little bit between the, the phone and the drone itself, so. Now, it does not have any t telemetry or anything on this thing, so you're not going to be able to see how high up you are. You're just going to have to make a guess. Like there, I was probably like 40 feet up. 30 feet, 30 or 40 feet, something like that. There's your little function thing there now does that i thought that went for like five seconds but i guess it'll just go until you put a stop to it which it does okay okay you either can hit a stick or hit the button again and that'll put a stop to that right okay And you can hit the flip button. Flies good, man. No problem. All right, guys. So there you go. Flies like a champ. Let's stop the video. Okay, so we got two minutes and 30 seconds of video. Um, I'll see if it'll sync. If it doesn't sync good because of the lag, I'll put the full screen video in the back of the, in the, in the back of the video. So then you'll, you'll at least get to see the quality uh, of the video to see how good the quality is. So. Yeah, so the, the good thing, okay, so you see that little bit of lag on the screen there right now. This thing is extremely stable, which is a very good, a very good point for these toy drones. The, the video has lag in it, but it's not affecting the controls, which a lot of, of toy quadcopters do. When you get that, there's no lag in the control which is a big plus okay because it's just so annoying when you're trying to fly one of these things when there's that delay from your inputs to what's you know to what's going on okay so you always are going to hate that that lag the lag in the video i can live with that the lag in the controls is a problem and usually you get that when you have these wi-fi drones but this one no no lag at all in the controls, either with or without the video going, there was no lag in the control. So that's a big plus, big plus. So yeah, perform great. Okay, I'm gonna land it up and then I'm gonna go in there probably tonight and go over there and shoot that nighttime thing in the garage. And actually, to be honest with you, I'm standing right below it. This thing kicks out a lot of wind, okay? There's, it's putting a lot of thrust out there. Okay. 
Okay, so sometimes you got to give it a little, give it a little coaxing, right? Okay, so there you go. Wow. Yeah, it did. It flew great, man. This is uh, one of the new parks over by my, by where I live now. I'm going to be coming over here and uh, not too many people come here. This is the kind of parks I like when nobody's here. Okay, so, and you know, I got a lot of room that's probably, you know, bring the mini three over and measure the distance between over there and then all the way to the end there. That looks like about a thousand feet to me. 800 at least. All right, guys, there you go. I'll put the video in there and stay tuned for the, the, the stay tuned for the light show. Okay, so that's what we're going to get next, the light show. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. guys <laughs> i'm in the garage i had to leave the door open to at least have a little bit of light to show for this thing that's the one i like right there <laughs> okay That's pretty cool also. So yeah. Definitely a pretty cool thing, you know, take out in the yard at night. Yeah, even out here at the street with street light, you know, you can at least see it, you know, a little bit. So yeah. Oh yeah, real cool. Love it, love it. All right, guys. Now I can go in and go to bed, right? Because I'm old. And I must have sleep. <laughs> All righty, here you go. All right, guys. There's your little light show. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.